The wait is finally over. The Anabars are officially back in stock. Head over to FinalBossPerformance.com. Use code RGF10 to save 10% on the best dang protein bars on the market. Inventory is limited, so you definitely want to act fast, man. Get over there and secure a box before they're gone. And you guys sounded off in the comment section below, and you told me that you wanted to see more meal plan videos. So today, I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to follow a meal plan that's going to help you lose weight, build muscle, and keep you shirtless by the pool this summer. We're going to go through the whole thing meal by meal. I'm going to show you exactly what the macros, the calories, the full breakdown is, and just how delicious this whole process can be. Just in case you missed the title, we're gonna be eating breakfast all day long. So if y'all are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! We are gonna start this meal plan off with one of my favorite breakfast recipes. This is gonna be for chocolate chip waffles. Man, this is like the perfect mixture of breakfast and dessert at the same time. And as always, to make sure we're accurate, I'm gonna start with a mixing bowl on a food scale. And we start with a few simple ingredients. We'll begin with egg beaters, followed up with a little baking powder. We add in about a scoop of Final Boss Whey, the best dang protein powder on this planet. A little bit of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. And then finally, the bell of the ball, we add some sugar-free chocolate chips. And now we just go in and give everything a quick mix. The batter is ready to go. We could use this to make pancakes or if you have a waffle maker, it makes this even easier. And keep in mind, if you want the exact breakdowns for any of the recipes in this video, just go to the playlist section on my channel, the one titled Breakfast, and you're gonna find a video breakdown of each recipe specifically. Or if you have the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, which is what I use while I'm making these videos, it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions, what to weigh out, the calories, the protein, the macros, everything. Link in my description. If you got it, I really think it could help you out. Now all I do is hit this with nonstick and then spoon my batter right on here until we have a waffle. Work. Looks pretty good to me. We just close this up and I'll see you when all the waffles are done. And we are off to the races now. With meal one, we get a triple stack of anabolic chocolate chip pancakes. They're fluffy, they're delicious, you get chocolate in every bite, and when you put sugar-free syrup on this, ooh, it's really a delicacy and a breakfast you're gonna look forward to. So at meal one, what we have is 482 calories, 10 grams of fat, 54 grams of protein, 44 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of fiber. So now that meal one's knocked out of the park, let's move on to meal two. Let's go. Meal two, we are making a McDonald's classic, but the healthier, higher protein version. We're making a stupid, simple anabolic sausage McMuffin, and it starts with a 100 calorie light English bagel, some turkey sausage, a couple slices of fat-free cheese, and a little bit of zero calorie butter spray. We start by weighing out our turkey sausage on a food scale, and then transferring it to a cutting board. And all I'm gonna do here is form it into a patty. And I like to make it as thin as I possibly can, cause that's gonna cut down on our cook time dramatically. And once we're pattied, preheat a scale and hit it with nonstick, then we just place our patty down in here and let it fry. And while the sausage is frying, I'll grab my English muffin, take a fork, and go around the outside and poke it. That way we can separate it into a top and bottom bun. And once we've done that, we'll spray each side with a little bit of our zero calorie butter spray. Then we'll just toss them in a toaster and take them for a quick ride. All right, we got our English muffin done. We have a slice of fat-free cheese on top of it. We're gonna lay down our turkey sausage patty. We're gonna do another slice of our fat-free cheese, which by the way, five grams of protein per slice. And then we just pop on our top bun. Boom, baby. Breakfast is served twice. Here we go, we get all the deliciousness of McDonald's without any of the guilt or the weight gain that comes along with hitting that drive-thru. In our sausage McMuffin, what we have for the whole thing is only 362 calories, 10 grams of fat, 34 grams of protein, 34 grams of carbs, eight grams of fiber. At this point in the day, we're at about 850 calories, but we still got more meals to go. So buckle your seatbelt and let's get on to meal three. Come on. And for meal three, we're gonna pick something convenient. We're gonna be doing a cinnamon toast crunch and a bar. Basically, we have a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch cereal loaded down with protein, locked in an easy grab and go bar. And if we open it up, break it in half, there's actual pieces of cinnamon toast crunch down inside. And when you take a bite, 
Mm. The flavor, the softness, it's gonna melt your socks. And check it out, when you get a box, all you gotta do is trim the side flaps, take this right here, tuck it down in, and boom, you got a display piece. Do you not have art hanging up? Do you not have decorations? Just get a box of each flavor and your whole place is gonna be sparkling with color. And in meal three, for this whole bar, we have 279 calories, only 11 grams of fat, 21 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. Mm. No sugar alcohols, no weird fibers, no line on the calorie label like Quest Bar does. These are authentic. You're gonna eat it, you're not gonna feel like crap, you're gonna feel full, you're gonna feel satisfied, and you're not even gonna feel like you're eating a protein bar. Take my word for it, baby. Anyways, that was meal three. Now let's move on to meal four. Come on. And we are back with another stupid, simple grab-and-go breakfast recipe. We're gonna make an anabolic breakfast bagel sandwich, just like you'd get at the deli, except it's gonna be way better for you. We got some low-calorie bagels, zero-calorie butter spray, egg beaters, we got smoked deli ham and slow-roasted deli roast beef, and two slices of fat-free American cheese. We start by grabbing a tiny egg skillet, one that's gonna make a perfect egg circle that'll fit right on our sandwich. Hit it with non- Oh shit. Hit it with a little nonstick and pour your eggs right in. All right guys, so obviously I'm weighing out my meats using the RJF cookbook for accurate measurements. And I came to my ham and I looked at it through the thing and I'm like, that's a little weird looking for ham. I opened it up and do you see that? Let me zoom it in ladies and gentlemen, that is mold. And this was sealed when I bought it yesterday. So needless to say, we're gonna pitch that and alter the recipe slightly. I'll just double up on the roast beef. And while the egg's finishing up, I took my bagel, hit each side with a little zero calorie butter spray. We're gonna pop it in the toaster, give this a nice crispin, and then check it out. After just a few minutes, we have a perfect little egg circle for our sandwich. I'm teaching you guys the game in this one. So we got another pan here, hit it with nonstick, and we don't necessarily have to do this, but I like to. We're gonna take our two piles of meat, put them down in here, pretend that that's ham, and we're gonna let these heat up. And now we build. We start with the first layer of our roast beef. Should have been ham. Follow that up with a slice of fat-free American cheese. Follow that up with our egg circle, our other slice of cheese, and then our final bit of roast beef. Could have been ham. We'll throw that top bun on and baby, we're in business. Here we go, man. In a matter of no time at all, we got a delicious anabolic breakfast bagel sandwich. Keep in mind for the visual, there should have been ham on there, but you saw the technical difficulties that arose. And out of all these recipes I've shown you so far, what I try to do is make sure all of these are meal prep friendly. So you can make a bunch of these in advance, wrap them in foil, throw them in Tupperware, and they're gonna be good in the fridge for at least four to five days. You can even freeze the extras if you want, and you'll be fine. So in meal four, what we have for the entire sandwich is only 445 calories, five grams of fat, 50 grams of protein, 50 50 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. So at this point, we're about 1,500 calories into the day. Not too bad, we've been eating deliciously. Now though, we're gonna move on to the ultimate breakfast recipe. Let's go. And to top off our all day breakfast meal plan, we're gonna finish it off with a bacon breakfast pizza. Stupid simple, minimal ingredients, maximum flavor. All we need is some egg beaters, some fat free cheddar, some low calorie, thin and crispy pizza crusts, and some real bacon pieces. We start by grabbing a pizza circle, hitting it with nonstick, laying our crust right in the middle. We then take our egg beaters that we weighed out and give them a quick scramble. And then once our egg beaters are done, we'll just throw them down on our pizza. Then we just go in and spread them out a little bit, that way we get even coverage. Then we go in with our fat free cheddar cheese cheese, lay it on top, and then finally we take our real bacon pieces and spread them out on top. And now I'm just gonna toss this in the oven until that cheese melts, that bacon gets crispy, and we have ourselves a delicacy. I'll be right back. Here we go, in a matter of no time at all, we got our final meal ready to go. A delicious anabolic bacon breakfast pizza. And for this final meal, we got 470 calories, 10 grams of fat, 52 grams of protein, 43 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. Not too bad for eating breakfast all day long. So now I'm gonna lay all the food out, we're gonna break down the entire plan and show you what you're working with. Let's go. The gang is all here. We started the day off with a triple stack of anabolic chocolate chip waffles, slid right into meal two, which was an anabolic sausage McMuffin. For meal three, we took a breather and had ourselves an anabar, the cinnamon swirl crunch flavor. It's like a bowl of cereal in a bar with some protein. Meal four, we made a deli favorite with an anabolic breakfast bagel sandwich. And to wind things down, we finished it off with a bacon breakfast pizza. Now with all five of these meals, when you break it down, what you end up with for the entire program is only 2,038 calories, 46 grams of 
of fat, 211 grams of protein, 195 grams of carbs, and 22 grams of fiber. Keep in mind what I just laid out, 2,038 calories with 211 grams of protein is perfect for me when I'm trying to shred body fat. I'm five foot 10, I weigh about 180 pounds, I'm pretty active, I'm going to the gym, so for me that's perfect. You personally could need more calories on the day to be optimal or less, but for me personally, 2,000 calories works great and most people are probably right around my size, so I think honestly this would be a great place to start. And who knew that following a diet could be so enjoyable? The goal with these recipe videos and everything I really do on this channel is to show you guys that it doesn't just have to be chicken, rice, and broccoli to see results. As long as you hit your calorie goal every day and your protein goal, something positive is gonna happen to your body. And now, if you decide to follow this program and there's anything in here in particular that you don't necessarily vibe with, you can always pick another recipe from my channel, add it in here, and just figure out where your calories are at and you're gonna be fine. And anytime I make these videos, literally, they're some of the easiest videos I make because I just pull up my anabolic cookbook, I follow the instructions, and I just start making food. It's always delicious. Nine times out of 10, it's pretty dang simple. And uh, if you wanna make your own meal plan from scratch, if you have this in your pocket, just go through, add some recipes up, and build your own. Available at the link in my description. Uh, you get this once, you get every future recipe I have for free. So uh, really, I think if you get it, it could be really beneficial. Appreciate you guys always for checking out the channel. If you have any suggestions for a uh, meal plan video you'd like to see me make or a video in general, comment down below. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the Anna bars are now back in stock. So check out FinalBossFormance.com. Code RJ10 will save you 10%. Smash that thumbs up button for me. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, now that it's over, we can get that thing going.